Welcome, contestants, to the fifth elimination. Welcome, everyone. So first order of business is, I need to know what your new team name is. Um, we didn't discuss it. In the group chat, I think it's the merge one, I brought up the idea of maho um, mahogany balsam bath and body work scandal. I like that. <laughs> that one wins. Some of the people liked it. I think that one got the most votes from the team. <laughs> uh, could you please repeat yeah, that, yeah. Carly, yeah. For, for the rest of us? Mm -hmm. Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works Candle. Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works Candle. Yes. All right, Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works Candle it is. Welcome, Carly. Team Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works Candle to the fifth elimination, your first elimination post-merge. I cannot wait to sip the tea. Uh, let's get down to business. First of all, Silly Sam, my angel. Yeah. How, how are you? How is your computer? Please tell us what the situation is. So the situation is that my computer still does not work. Well, I'm sorry about what happened to your computer, Sam, um, but I'm so grateful that you were able to tune in tonight on your phone. Oh yes, me too, me too. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, Antonio. Okay, so then uh, I got a question for everyone. And that question is, since the merge, what has changed in two days? I wanna know what's different now. The stress of this experience has weighed heavily on us all, Antonio. I mean, just choose any one of us who does not look markedly worse than we did last week. I don't know what you're talking about. Me, of course. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> There's just been a, a physical transformation, you know, the bags under the eyes, the, the hair has lost some of its luster. And as the, the de facto leader of this team, I look at myself in the mirror and I see the same, you know, physical defects reflected in the rest of my subordinates here. So it's uh, really that, a horrible thing to see. That's happen. an interesting statement, uh, Trey. Uh, that might have been some sarcasm, but do you really think that you are the de facto leader of this team? <laughs> oh, you know. That's not an answer. Look. Can we, can we talk privately, Antonio? Uh, we can talk in front of everyone else, sure. Just, come on. I don't think of myself as the leader. I just think of myself as, as higher, if you know what I mean. I'm, so then my question for you, Trey, is this. Yeah. Uh, what is more important to you, strategy or good TV? What can I say? I'm a performer, I'm a theatrician, Strategy to me is good TV and good TV. Well, that's my strategy. Thank you, Trey. Thank you. Uh, I want to know who your writers are. Um, uh, Georgia. So speaking of leaders, yes, I have a question for you, Georgia. Uh, yes. Do you feel like there is a leader on this team? And if so, who is it? Um, probably. Um, one of the third years, I presume. Um, I think it's very unlikely that it could be anybody else. You, you don't think it's anyone in particular? Um, yes, I have my suspicions. And do you feel comfortable sharing that with us? Um, well, I think it is probably 
one of the third year actors um, is very likely. Oh, Georgia. <laughs> oh, interesting. Georgia, you, you gave a lot of specifics a couple weeks ago at Elimination. So much. I, a uh, bit of a change of pace tonight. <laughs> interesting. Definitely a different energy from you, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Different energy. Uh, anyone else want to weigh in on that? Is there a leader here? We've already heard my thoughts on the matter, Antonio. Um, I personally think it's it's Colin. Colin, Colin be in the slack always and, and just be talking to all of us and and trying to strategize. And so I, I just I personally look up to him, if I'm being honest. Colin, you look confused. I don't know, dude. I mean, I don't think so. Colin, though, I'm curious. Do team lines still exist? Are, is Team Orangey Glad, Team Purple Rain, are the ghosts of those teams still here? Yeah, it's funny because like, even like the old, old teams are still kind of there, you know? And like, there could be some people that, that think the team lines are there, but they're not. I'm hearing like all of a sudden there's no team lines anymore. And it's like, oh wow, it's really like kind of like a free for all but you do sort of, you know, have certain things. But I think for the most part, the team lines have disappeared. Like even like me and Alex, I hated Alex when they started and then we got put on the same team and um, I hate him a little less now. Um, and yeah, so. That's very, I, it's a really loving relationship the two of you have, I really appreciate it. It's been beautiful to watch it blossom throughout the season. Um, but on a related note, Carly, I gotta ask, how do you make the determination who you can trust in this game? How do you know who to vote with? I don't. That's the worst thing. I don't. I am, I, my last confessional was in my bathtub because I just needed a break. I hopped off the Zoom. I went in the bathtub and I went, this shit sucks. I don't know who is my friend and who is not. As I've said before, I just wanna have fun. And this is, this is bordering the line here, guys. So Carly, have you made a decision then? Antonio, I'm not gonna tell you, okay? You can find out when we do the voting. Well, you okay? don't have to tell me, but I'm curious. You said it's hard for you to know who to vote with and who to vote for, but have you made a decision? I hate that. Oh, so, uh, so Carly may or may not have decided who uh, is getting her vote tonight. We'll I leave it at we that. See. We'll leave it at eating the plants. Oh, baby, stop it, stop it. Oh my gosh, Meg, is your cat eating plants? Yeah, he likes plants a lot. <laughs> Meg, I, it's, that's perfect segue. So uh, your cat, what's your cat's name? His name's Nefri. He's a very thick boy. He's very <laughs> Well, your thick boy was causing you a little grief on Monday. Is that correct? Yeah. During the challenge? Yeah, he was. <laughs> he, he batted your ball away from your cup, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I missed, I just missed the cup. I can't, I can't uh, emphasize how close I was. So close because I'm so good at physical challenges um, to making that goal. And uh, he, he just batted it right under the couch. So um, what can I say? The cat is the reason I lost. <laughs> Hava, I'm going to come over to you. Uh, so you made it to the second round. You made it to the final four in that challenge. How did it feel to come so close and then lose a chance at immunity? I was honestly just proud of myself for making it that far because I feel like when it comes to physical challenges, I'm not usually like someone who's like going to make it to the end or whatever. So I was honestly really proud of myself. Like I was like after I was kind of giddy about it, I was like, did you see me like make it to the like the second round? Um, and I'm I'm proud of Fiona. She did great. So uh, it was fun. It was fun. Well, speaking of Fiona, uh, my question for you, Fiona, is: Do you feel like you needed immunity this week? What were the stakes for you? Fuck yes, I needed immunity. People have just decided to paint me as this puppet master, as this person that's controlling the game. And it is a diversion. It is not, they're trying, I'm so, I'm so anxious right now. I really- so, Fiona, are you saying that you are not controlling anyone in the game? Not con 
I'm not controlling anybody. Do you feel like uh, the relationships and alliances that you're making in this game, do you feel like you are in a leadership position in any of those? I think I'm in a friendship position with a lot of them. I wouldn't say leader. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, but you're very anxious tonight. Very, very anxious tonight. I'm curious. So, so you have immunity. You, you, you won the challenge and you gained individual immunity. So what makes you so nervous? I just like, don't want to see any of my friends go home, man. I, I genuinely like the people I have called my friends in this game. I genuinely consider them my friends. And if one of them goes away, that will make me really sad. Who are your friends in this game? You, Antonio, number one. <laughs> well, but I can't go home, Fiona. Oh, that's so good. How reassuring. <laughs> um, Antonio, I'm not. I'm not going to get into it. All right. All right. You know, you know, I got to ask. I got to ask. It's up to you if you want to if you want to spill the beans. But I actually I want to move over to Nora because I have a very specific question for you, Nora. Who's the biggest threat in this game to you right now? To me? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I know the answer to that question, if I'm being honest. I the way I've been taking this game is like one week at a time. So I think that my biggest threat is um, myself in a way, because I think that I trust people too often who I shouldn't trust. <laughs> so I have a question about your vote tonight. Are you going to be voting for someone who's a threat? Um, I think that it's somebody who would probably be a threat to me in the long run. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Also, I do want to reveal to the audience at home, I can say this because Nora shared this information earlier in the general Slack channel, but Nora announced to her fellow contestants that she found one of the hidden immunity items. Talk to me, Nora, about what gave you the, uh, what gave you the uh, courage or the idea to share that information with all of your fellow contestants? Um, well, I'll give the viewers at home the whole rundown, but I was getting a lot of private messages asking people that they were suspicious that I had it. So, and I, I didn't tell that many people that I had it and I'm just assuming that one of them might have let it slip and I, I that's fine, I guess. I, it was my fault in the, in the beginning to trust people to know that I had it. So I thought that it would be better if everybody was suspicious that I had it, it would make more sense if they just flat out knew that I had it because Otherwise, I was putting up a front the entire time and trying to lie, and that was really stressful for me. So, I mean, everybody knows, and if they try to flush it, I, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I, just, I, I joined the game to make friends, so. Which brings me to Jordan. Jordan, how good do you think you are at reading people? I'm very good, and I'm very tired right now, and here's why I'm tired. Y'all, I hate to pull this card, but I have been at this merge before. I was here last season. This merge and this vote is about to go down and it's about to be the same exact season as season one. I didn't come here to play season one and that's why I'm tired. Season two has been different. It's been so different, but this vote is about to make it the same as season one where a top two is going to place themselves in the power and everyone else is going to go like dominoes. That's why I'm tired. <laughs> I came to play and I understand that me saying this is like putting this huge target on my back, but to play this game as a lot of y'all are saying, like you've got to hold two or many truths at once. And like the truth needs to be, the majority is with me and the majority is against me. Hold both of those at the same time and you will go to the end because when you're faced to the jury, the jury isn't looking about how many challenges you won, they're looking at whether or not you caused a chain reaction or you were simply just responding to chain reactions the whole time. Like you gotta make a move. You know what I mean? Like we're playing a game. Yes, this is fun. And like, I'm just monologuing right now. Like this is all theatrics, but like I was offered to be a part of this majority like that is going right now. And I almost said yes. And then I remembered why I said yes to doing the season again was because I wanted it to be truly 
I wasn't just playing someone else's game. And I feel like if you're going against your majority vote today and making it a new majority, you're not aligning yourself with me or Meg or Georgia, who are the bottom three right now. What you're doing is you're giving yourself the opportunity to make bold choices in the long run and much faster. Because what ended up happening is last season, I stayed with this majority and then two votes after the merge, I suddenly was out. And I thought I was in the top three. I was promised multiple times I was in the top three. And he's watching this right now. He's producing it. <laughs> so like, and I warned everyone. I warned everyone. I said, if you want me to vote for you in the jury, make sure you're not sitting next to him. Nobody listened. He sat next to someone and he won. I'll say I'm not calling really out quickly. just one person. Okay, I'm not calling out just Fiona. I'm not just calling out Trey. I'm not calling out Hava, Alex, Sam, anyone. I'm saying whoever is, and you know who it is. If you're not getting constant messages all the time, you're not getting blunt like messages. Like I don't know. Take this as you will. If I'm going home tonight, like I guess I'm going home tonight. I just want to play like a different game, and it's not gonna be different. And that's as blunt as honest as I can be. I'll, I'll say something as a person who, before this merge, really didn't have any strong alliances, and I'll be honest about that. Um, when both sides are coming to you and trying to get you to do one side or the other, they're both making the same types of promises. So I can't say that one side felt very different than the other one. I have to say in response to that, it's like, yes, in reality, like I'm doing this to survive. However, it's again, like I'm not asking you to align with us unless you want to align with us. I'm asking you to like make choices so that you have a chance with a jury. Does that make any sense? You know what I mean? Like, cause like you have a lot of like power. Like if you're in between the two alliances, you have a shit ton of power. And it's like, are you gonna go with like the predictable move or are you gonna make like, you're gonna switch it up? I don't know. I gotta ask. Uh, thank you, Jordan, for all that. Uh, I, you know I appreciate when you name names, so thank you. And two people that you did name, Georgia and Meg, I got to bring you both in here for an opportunity if you want to chime in on this. I, Jordan I, just, just made the claim that you three are in the bottom tonight. Do you feel the same way? I will say yes. I will just say, though, that so much has happened in the past, like, 10 minutes 15 minutes, oh, I guess 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> um, and I just, I, I'm just kind of gobsmacked right now, to be honest. I'm like bundled up in this, I like got so cold and I'm bundled in this fucking blanket. And I, I, I'm, yeah, I like thought that I had made my peace and now I'm just like, I don't know if I, if I go home this week, like seriously, because of, I, yeah, I just, I'm just cold. I'm really cold. I'm cold. Oh. Meg? Yeah. I, I I would say we're in the bottom, but I would also say we could be in the top. Things change so quickly in this game. Like, they absolutely do. I almost get, like, I almost feel like sometimes it's not even worth responding to Slack because things are going to change, like, six times over before you get back to the messages. You know? It's just not stable in this game. Like, any, anything that anyone said could have changed the vote dramatically at this point. And there's just no knowing. Um, and I really like what Jordan said about like changing things up in this game, you know? Like, I feel like I put a, a few tendrils out this week, you know, to like spice things up in this game. And it just seems like people kind of want to see the, the same show play over and over. And I, I'm just, I'm not here for that. I'm here for something interesting. Well, I, I wanted to touch on something that Jordan brought up, which is the jury. I did want to let you know that whoever is eliminated tonight will be the first contestant that will be on the jury at the finals. So everyone who is eliminated after the merge will consist, or will comprise the jury to determine who wins this season of Survivor TTS. So my last question is for anyone who wants to chime in Jordan said that someone needs to make a big move tonight. So if you're, if you end up on the jury, are you gonna vote for someone that makes a big move? Or are you gonna vote for someone that takes a different path? Uh, can I say something? Yeah, of course, please. Um, 
we're talking about big moves in this game, but loyalty is a big move. If you're loyal in this game, that is a big move. Like holding alliances that have been formed, that is a big move. So this whole like, oh, we're gonna see the same season, whatever talk, I just don't buy. I just don't buy. The dynamics are completely different in this season, I think. I mean, I, I wasn't in the merge last season. Um, but- can I ask, Fiona, can I ask you why you're nervous? Because you're not being voted out tonight. So are you I'm anxious? Not- cause- mm-hmm. Sorry. I feel like you're the reason that I feel like you're saying you're anxious is because if one of your alliance does get voted out, then you like you are recognizing and realizing that like the position that you put yourself in isn't going to work anymore, right? Just to be honest and blunt, like is that why you're anxious? Why are you anxious? I'm anxious because I don't want to play this game with people who I don't want to play this game with people who aren't nice and who aren't willing to i i'm 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 really flustered and i'm sorry and i'm not being a good orator right now i'm flustered because i don't want to see my alliance go home people i've aligned myself with i don't want to see go home but before we get to the vote something has been brought to my attention which is that there is a contestant that we have learned has been watching the confessionals on Instagram. As you all know, that was sent out on the rule sheet that that was one of the rules was that you could not watch the confessional videos on Instagram. So because of that reason, Trey, you will lose your vote tonight at tonight's elimination. What can I say, Antonio? I love my own content. You know, Trey, I, I, uh, I appreciate the one-liner, all the one-liners. Um, but that does mean that tonight there will only be 10 votes for this elimination as Trey's vote has been taken away. And with that, this brings us to the part of the episode that I know everyone uh, is very anxious about, including myself. It is time to set another contestant adrift. In a moment, I will ask each of you to private message me the name of the contestant that you feel deserves to be eliminated tonight. Before I do that, Fiona, as you did win immunity this week, and she's already shaking her head no, Fiona is going to keep her individual immunity for herself. And with that, we are on to the vote. First up tonight is Jordan. Next up is Fiona. Alex, Georgia, Carly, Meg, Colin, Nora, Sam, and Hava. All right. The votes are in. If anyone has an immunity item that they would like to play either on themselves or on one of their fellow contestants, now is the time to unmute yourself, show your immunity item, and tell me who you would like to save with it. All right. Here we go with your votes tonight. Our first vote is for Georgia. Next vote is for Meg. And we have a vote for Alex. We have a second vote for Georgia. Third vote for Georgia. That puts it at 
Meg with one vote, Alex with one vote, Georgia with three votes. The next vote is for Meg. We have a third vote for Meg. A fourth vote for Meg. Fourth vote for Georgia. Right now we have Alex with one vote and Georgia and Meg are tied with four with one vote left. With five votes and the first contestant to be eliminated after the merge is Meg. Hi guys. <laughs> Meg, on a personal note, Meg, you designed my favorite costume I had at the theater school. I, I love working with you as an artist and you were really fun to have on this season. I'm so glad that you auditioned, but unfortunately, you know what this means, which is that you have been eliminated from season two of Survivor TTS. Is there anything that you would like to say to your fellow contestants or to the audience? Yeah, actually, um... I, I promised a friend of mine that um, if I was going home, I wasn't going to go home without <laughs> blowing some people's spot up. So um, uh, the beef between Trey and Fiona is totally fake, and I think that's hilarious. Um, also, Fiona, <laughs> when you point a finger at someone, just remember you have three fingers pointed back at you. I was nothing but kind to you, and you threw me right under that bus. Anyways, this was a blast, you guys. I had so much fun doing it. And I will miss you all. I will miss you most. <laughs> Thank you so much, Meg. <clears throat> you know, what a way to go out. Dropping the mic. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Uh, this is getting vicious, clearly. This is getting vicious. Uh, let's play fair. Let's play fair and let's play with civility and let's play with kindness because this is a game. Yes, I love how serious y'all take this game because it does make it more fun to watch. But let's just remember that it's a game and that we do not need to ever get personal. You good? Yeah, thank you for asking. Um, I, I just don't feel like what was just said was true. Um, pretty much any of it, except for the beef with Trey is fake. That is that is the only thing she said was true and we were just doing it for the lols. I will say that my character was just, I don't know, like whether it was intentional or not, um, was just attacked and I don't, I don't consider myself to be the person that I was just made out to be. Um, and this isn't the game at all. I'm so serious. <laughs> like I wanna be friends with friends like genuine friends who I see and talk to when we can see each other and talk to each other um outside of the game and that invitation is completely serious whatever happens in this game I'm dead ass so that's what I that's my piece whoo y'all this oh, green team this bodes I don't know how it bodes, but it bodes some kind of way about the, the eliminations moving forward in this season. You know, we thought season two would top season one with the drama and we were accurate. Okay. All right, this is the top 10 in season, season two of Survivor TTS. You made it through another elimination. So until next time. All right, welcome, Team Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works Candle. It's as cold out there as my treatment was last week, Antonio. Going oh, no. Going no. So this could be a do or die moment for some of our contestants here. 